Welcome! This video is an overview of charting features in CQG's QTrader. Before we review key features, I want to point out that all setup parameter menus have direct links to their respective help files. For example, if I right click on a bar and choose Modify Bar, then click on Info, the help file for bar charts opens. The QTrader homepage comes with a single chart with four tabs. I'm going to expand this chart to full view. We'll be walking through the basics of modifying the charts, including changing chart types, time frames, adding and removing studies, and more. Notice the four chart tabs. Chart tabs allow you to easily move between markets, chart types, and time frames. QTrader comes with a limit of four chart tabs. Now, to change the symbol, you simply enter the new symbol in the box in the lower left-hand corner. Changing from the E-mini S&P to the E-mini NASDAQ 100. To change time frames, we can just enter in, say, a 15. And now we have a 15-minute chart. We can also left-click on this toolbar button for intraday data, and it becomes smaller time frames. If we right-click, the time frames increase. Now we will change the chart type. There are three ways available to change the chart type. For example, from the chart toolbar. To add chart types to the toolbar, right-click on the toolbar, select chart type, and then you can add whatever charts you like to use on a regular basis. For example, I'll put, I'll add a T-Flow chart. T-Flow is CQG's proprietary chart type. Now if I wanted to change it to T-Flow, I simply click T-Flow, and the chart becomes a T-Flow chart. If I want it to be back to bar, click on bar. The second way is to click on the chart title bar and choose from this list. Candlestick, bar. And finally, I can come up to this, right click, add chart, choose T-Flow, and it's a T-Flow chart. Now I'll return to a bar chart. For price cursors, left click on the price scale and you can track what the price is to find, say, like the high market price. To set this as a horizontal line, click it again, and it is now locked. To remove it, right click. Similarly, for, for timelines, left click, and you'll see over in the left hand boxes the cursor values are changing. If you want to lock it, click again. To remove it, right click. You can expand the price scale by holding down your mouse and changing it. To bring it back to normal, right click and choose auto scale or auto scale without studies. Auto scale without studies will only use the prices of the bars. It will not use any studies. For example, if there was a 200 bar moving average that was out of view, you could choose auto scale without studies and it'll just use the price bars. You can drag the chart by left click and holding down the mouse. To return, click here. You can modify the time scale, right click, revert to default spacing, or you can go to a particular date.
turn, click the arrow key. Traders and analysts use studies and conditions on charts. You can add your favorite studies to the toolbar. Right click, Studies, select the studies you would like to have listed, close, close, and then to add a study, simply left click on the study. Here we just added a moving average study. Another way is to right click on the chart and choose Add Study. There is a group of study types. We have basic studies, custom studies, and trading studies, and functions. Type in the study you would like to have such as the relative strength index. Type in select it. You can now configure it. Say OK and then add. And now the RSI is on the bottom chart. To remove studies, you simply right click in the chart, select remove study, and you have a choice of studies that you can remove. To modify all studies within a particular pane, right click, modify all studies, and now you have a choice of modifying the bars, the moving average, and the Bollinger Bands. To modify the stochastic, right click down here, select modify stochastic. To add conditional alerts, right click on the bar and choose Select Conditions for Marking Bar. This dialog opens with a list of conditions. You can also create your own conditions. Here, we'll add the condition for the CQG RSI low. Select it, include. It has a nine period back and a threshold of 20. You can modify what it looks like by clicking here and you can choose if you want an arrow or to color the bar. Choose the colors, placement of the arrows above, below, and the size. We apply. I'm going to go to a smaller time frame. These arrows mark the times that the RSI was below 20. To explore working with QTrader features on your own time, you can click the question mark in the top right hand corner to start the QTrader help. It's context sensitive. Click and if you require immediate assistance, click the support toolbar button and connect via live chat to a CQG support person. This concludes our video. For more information about CQG products and services, please visit CQG.com.